Buongiorno, my name is Umberto Clerici. I am principal cello with the Sydney Symphony Orchestra. And today we are here with James, the 2014 fellow of our program. And we will play for you and discover and talk about and open windows about the Andante con Moto, the second movement by the fifth Beethoven symphony. And now I would like to introduce to you our cello fellow for 2014, James Yu. Hello. Hi, James. So let's play once through and then we yeah. discover together. Thank you, James. Very good. Thank you. So, as you know, this excerpt has basically three major problematics. The first is the rhythm at the beginning. Yeah. The second is to try to keep the same tempo, even if it changes the value yeah. of the single notes, so it's faster and faster. And then also, most of the dynamic, except one, yeah. are not prepared. So, the first thing about not preparing, the first we have the piano here. So I think here is the contrast that we need to give much more than the I really playing piano and forte. Yeah. Because there are many uh, young musicians in the audition, they play. Yeah. And of course, this is a feeling of warmth. We just started, the movement is very long. Yeah. And so if you don't prepare with the last note here, of course, the contrast on the first string is much bigger. Mm -hmm. So I would start from the sound of the first string that has to be, you know, here we, uh, many instruments are joining us. At the beginning, we are yeah. just us, and yeah. the viola and the bow bass are pizzicato accompaniment. So let's only start from this to find a full sound that has to be the same here. Yeah. Imagine instead of having closed vowels, like e, let's imagine to open the vowel. So, with a a. Exactly, and I think for the, in the, on the cello, it's easier to keep the string and open the cello instead of pressing down. So yeah. imagine to press on the side. Yeah. Very good. Now we have to connect it. Yeah. So imagine that we are playing with a, this piano dynamic yeah. and we play this prepares in advance. So we don't arrive yeah. like this. Yeah. And then the cello opens. And then we don't have this, the bad feeling in orchestra that yeah. somebody is playing yeah. electric guitar. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Very good. And the same here. Also here, don't forget this is yeah. a rhythmical also pattern. Yeah. Because from the beginning we have so if you play we forget that is also a rhythmical element. Yeah. Very good. Okay. So 
The, the other point where we don't have to prepare the dynamic is one of the most difficult thing yes. is this. Yes. And we always feel naked there when we play alone. So let's start from this dynamic. Yes. So if it's too too soft, yes. start to yes. to seem uh, in, uh, on a horse instead yes. of a. Uh, so we yeah. start the this and then we find the piano connected to this, yeah. okay? Only this. Yeah, I think also here it's not French music, so I wouldn't think... Yeah. Because it's structural, this, um, um, this bar. So because then the violins play the melody pianissimo. Yeah. So still is... So with a little bit of resistance. Exactly, and for have it regular, we have to calculate the space that we do here, yeah. but also the space we do not up and down, but left and right. So if the bow is too slow, the effect is... Yeah. If the bow is too fast, that's like this. So if we find the right balance, it's like Brahms' second sonata, you know? Yeah. It's the same idea of... Mm -hmm. So, I think you are using too, uh, the, the bow is too short. Yeah. And then, of course, it starts to be oh, oh, Tarzan-like. Very good. This is perfect. And then, of course, as we know, for having piano and then pianissimo, we need to not prepare it. So, let's think about a small crescendo at the last part. It's not crescendo, it's like a little bit like a trick. Then, yeah, yeah. I mean, we usually play diminuendo there. So instead of diminuendo, we think about... And then we have... Yeah. Okay? Very good, much better. Another thing I would consider, because you play very well, is I would try, except the orchestra, the specific orchestra for this specific audition will send you some specific bowing, then you, it's better to follow this. Yeah. But otherwise, I would try to keep the original bowings. Because otherwise it seems that you are trying to have shortcuts. Mm -hmm. So here we have all these long bowings. Yeah. And we have really to be careful about dividing. So if we start, for example, down, that is the most common in yeah. orchestra, if we start too much in the upper bow, then we are already in troubles here. But of course, if we start here, it's impossible to have dolce. Yeah. So if we start more or less on one third of the bow, we have the chance to play this, and then, and then we have, if we save, and we are not really at the tip, we have possibility to go a little bit more to the tip here, and really at the tip here, and then we retake. In this way, we don't make crescendo. Yes. So starting up, this could be the solution. Mm -hmm. So we start now, but the exercise you could do in the morning is to take a, this, a um, scale, like for example, A flat major, and to play the same rhythm. So two beats down and one beat up, trying to compensate the speed that has to be the same yeah. with other parameters. Okay, James, let's go to the second section. Can you play just a few bars of this? Yeah. so well that I didn't stop you. Uh, it's very good. Just a few things. The first is the shiftings. I really can hear... This is the first thing. The other thing I can hear... So this is the first thing we, we, we see. And the second is that this section is very difficult to be clear, but also very legato. So focus on your vibrato. Because you play... Instead of having also here, it's very difficult to have a continuous vibrato here, yeah. but it helps a lot the idea of legato. Mm -hmm. You see, if I play, 
with no vibrato, it's really note by note, even yeah. if I don't yeah. make portato with the bow. If I use a vibrato that is expressive, so one note yes, one note no, it's full of, oh, 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 of yeah. bananas, so you can call as you want. Yes. But if I use a vibrato that is regular and not too wide, but constant, mm. so we yeah. have... legato. So try, let's try to find a better finger in that. Yeah, yeah. This is a, already better. Another possibility is this one, because when you shift between strong beat and soft beat, you don't really feel the strong, soft. Uh -huh. It's much less evident than so between weak and strong, it's very clear. So if you play... Mm -hmm. Like this, is very easy to hide it. Yeah, yeah. Good? Uh, d directly from the second line. Much better. Going to the third section, we have to be careful that the tempo is not faster. Mm -hmm. Of course, the notes are much more fast, yeah. but the tempo has to be the same because usually we start very slow at the beginning yeah. because it's easier, and then we arrive here, it's in uh, exactly a galop to yeah. the horse. <laughs> so, this is the first thing. The second, also here, I would keep the original uh, articulation, doesn't mean up and down, but I wouldn't play because it's always an habit. And we, so, both down or up. Mm -hmm. And then, the difficult, of course, skill here is to be regular. We have to yeah. consider that every time we cross the string, the last note, this in all the repertoire, is always a little bit uh, short. short. Yeah. So when we play, every time, this is, I wouldn't play there because we play so. So we have the same quality of sound instead of going. So, and because of this, we have to cross the string. Also, here the dynamic can be piano comfortable. Yeah. So let's play once at the beginning. Try. Very good. So the most tricky part is the this bar, of course. So there, yeah. I think, if you play the shifting with the same finger, it's yeah. impossible to be really hidden because you don't have a, an extra articulation. Yeah. So instead of maybe you can, and then here, because otherwise you play. Yeah. This is we can avoid it trying maybe to play if we play so we only have one fifth remaining yeah. also be careful when you pass from the second string it's already brighter so if you delete this the, the, the step is yeah. very strong yeah. so play the F this the harmonics of the F covers and this in audition is very good to see somebody that is confident in the sense of can control his nervosity yeah. and not work. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's like this. So if you are controlled enough and you, you are not too slow, yeah. it's much, you give a very strong impression. Okay? Yeah. And now we go finally to the last section. So what is the difference here than the other three? The main Dynamic. difference. Dynamic. So it's forte, not piano. Yeah. And with whom are you playing here? Um, Brass instruments, tutti. Tutti, yeah. tutti, exactly. So this line, instead of with the violas, we have a full section of double basses. Mm -hmm. yeah. And everybody are playing 
pom, 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 mm -hmm. pom. So we need clarity. So I know that most of the orchestra divides in the middle or external, internal. Let's play for the moment how it's written. Yeah. And let's try to have the biggest sound possible, but without arriving to this sound. Yeah. So the exercise is to try to play and we go from here to down until we find the E. And every day can be, according to the humidity mm -hmm. hole, it can be different. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So let's play only the first two bars yeah. and try to go slowly lower and lower to, fi to feel where is the limit. Good. So you see that the first bar was great. Of course, when you go to the, uh, let's say, third bar, so from... We have a little bit of wolf tone, yeah. usually, and also the string becomes much longer. Yeah. So if you don't adapt with the bow, so from here to... There yeah. is impossible to have a good... Always have this. So when you practice, each note, each area of the cello has yeah. a different place. Yeah. And if you go also here around, so reach the limit without pressing too much. And also here, it, the, the big danger when you are at, that this is very often flat because we don't put the entire weight of our arm because the, the, the position is large. The four fingers. So when you reach here, keep the weight here so you are there. And also the grace note. If it's not enough clean, that with the entire weight here, yeah. it's only with the fourth finger, you lose it, yeah. particularly yeah. in a big hole. So. Yeah. And then, so it, it depends about how much uh, wolf you have. But yeah, yeah. this is important that you don't force the sound, but you demonstrate that it can be clear at least every half um, semi quaver. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Good. Do you have questions? Um, yeah, just a general thing Good. about this exit. Mm -hmm. So many orchestras, different orchestras play in different styles and yeah. different tempi also. And would you, what would you say, so if we are playing this for an audition, do you think it's good to keep it at, as the tempo as it's written, which is 92, which is quite fast? Quite fast. Yeah. About the tempo, here we have an indication that in most of the scores, the 92, and it's andante con moto. Yeah. So when yeah. if it's never, you are not never playing it too fast, I guess. Yeah. If you arrive until 92, I would suggest to play with different metronomes mm -hmm. between I don't know 80 and 92 to try where you feel more comfortable. Yeah. Because also if it's too fast, the uh, the fast part becomes mm -hmm. is not andante anymore. It's in allegro. Mm -hmm. So I would stay around 90. Yeah. I would try to keep what is written in dynamic and yeah. what is written in articulation. I think, I just yeah. think that you play very well, just solve two or three problems we have. Yeah. Also, I think it's important that you always show you have a nice sound and you are always open. Because in orchestra, when you play with the others, the interaction yeah. is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. So to imagine what is happening at the beginning that you are alone with the double bass, the title. Mm. This for the uh, grades is already a surprise. Yeah. Usually uh, we go to the dominant, but this yeah. is subdominant. So if you play or something in between, you are not a soloist, so yeah. you can't really make effects. <laughs> but in a way, there is something already happening. Yeah. So. The, if you imagine what is happening around you, it's on immediately the whole, and who is listening to you, imagine the, the rest, so it's interactive 
even without other people. Mm. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Good. So, really good luck for the, your next auditions Thank and you. enjoy when you are there. Just yeah. try to play and to be yourself. Yeah. It's always the best thing. Okay. Good. Bye. Yeah. Thank you very much. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Thanks.